America's heartland. These crops provide our meals, but the journey to the dinner table begins where you least expect it. It all starts with a bee. Every third bite of food we eat is from a pollinated plant. Richard Aidy is one of the co-owners of Aidy Honey Farms, a family business. They are the largest in the country. Some people say the world. When Richard first started this business in 1957, he only sold honey. Now, each year, millions of bees will be sent across the country to pollinate America's crops. Life for beekeepers, farmers, even you and me, is about to change for the better. IBM's Watson has joined forces with the weather company. That means more precise forecasts, so people like Richard can make better decisions. Moisture, for example, is critical. If it gets too dry out in the fields, the blossoms dry up and bees won't work. By learning from data provided by sensors, Watson can help irrigation systems get water where it's needed most. It's the same way some bees forage while others collect water. But even if the weather's right, getting bees to the crops is a challenge. Last year, Richard sent 150 semi-loads of bees to California for pollination. To keep the bees safe, the trucks can only travel during the day. Like bees flying to flowers, Watson can help identify the best routes that take traffic, temperature, and road conditions into account. That can mean a smoother ride for bees. Cognitive technology is changing the way companies like 80 Honey Farms make decisions. That's good news for the biggest businesses and the smallest bees. <laughs>